I'm going to show you how to complete and upload the sales invoice data on our Ebate system. Firstly, go to the Ebate portal and log in. As part of this process, you'll need to download three documents from the document library. To do this, click Documents and Documents again. This opens the document library where you can download the documents needed to submit your rebate data. These are Sales Invoice Template, Customer URN List, Framework Product Codes List. Next, download these three documents by clicking the sheet icon on each one. Then, we need to find the Customer Unique Reference Number, URN, for each of your customers. To do this, open the Customer URN list and, if prompted, please click the Enable Editing button. You can use the filter buttons at the top of each column to help filter the list or search for keywords. Locate the URN of each customer and make a note of it. The URN looks like this. Next, we're going to find the Framework Product Codes. To do this, open the Framework Product Code list and select the relevant framework using the filter. Then, look at the lot and sublot names to make sure you are selecting the correct codes. You should only use codes that relate to frameworks and lots that your company is on. If in doubt, please ask the category team that manages the framework. Using the wrong code could mean you are charged the wrong amount of rebate. The product codes look like this. Next, we are going to complete the sales invoice template. It will look like this when you first open it. Expand each column to make sure you can see the column headers. Insert your supplier ID into column A and your company name into column B. You need to include this on every row of data you submit. Insert the customer URN into column C and the name of the customer organization into column D. Insert the framework product code into column E. The next few columns relate to the invoice you sent the customer. Insert the invoice data into column F. Make sure the date is in the correct format – day, month and full year. Otherwise, your upload will be rejected. Insert the invoice number into column G. Insert the invoice line number into column H. Please note, you can only use the same invoice and line number combination once. If you try to reuse invoice numbers, the upload will be rejected. Also, take note, you should only type numbers into the invoice line column. No text, please. Next, insert the relevant quantity of products or services delivered into column I. If you have delivered a service or something that isn't invoiced as a quantity, then please enter 1. Next, enter the word each into column J. Enter the total line value minus VAT into column K. Please note that this is the total value of that invoice line, not the price per unit. Next, enter GBP into column L. Then, enter the relevant project reference that this data relates to into column M. Please note, before you can submit rebate data, you need to tell us about all customer contracts so that we can add these as projects to Ebate. Your upload will be rejected if the project reference isn't in the system. Please contact the category team that manages your framework if you are unsure which project reference to use. If you want us to put a purchase order number or other reference on the invoice that we send to you, please include it in column N. If you want multiple rows to be included in the same invoice, please make sure you include the same PO on all relevant rows. Please note, there is a 16-character limit. Please repeat the above steps for each customer, framework and invoice. 
once you have entered all your data, check that all of the columns, except the dates, are in the format called General and that none of your numbers have been converted into a number format, as this will cause the upload to be rejected. Date should be formatted and displayed as a short date. Your finished template will look something like this. Once you have completed the sales invoice template, you can upload it to Ebate. Go to the Maintenance tab and select Import Transactions. In the Source File Type box, select Sales Invoice from the drop-down list. In the Mapping box, select Master Data from the drop-down list. To add your file, you can either click the Upload icon and navigate to the file or drag the file into the box. When your file is added, click the Start Import Process button. You'll get a pop-up notification to say the import process has started. You can track the status of your upload on the home page. You will receive an email from Ebate to tell you if your upload has been successful. If it was unsuccessful, the email will give you information about which parts of your file need to be amended. If you need further support, please download the user guides from the Ebate document library.